So this weekend, obviously, uh, what a way to win. Three walk-offs in three days, well, three games. Um, have you ever seen anything like that before? Never seen anything like it. You know, and even you kind of slipped up right there. Three walk-offs, three days, like, oh, wait a minute. No, wait, that was in two days. Mm -hmm. And just with the time, you know, constraints of how it was from Friday night at 6 to Saturday night at 10, mm -hmm. I mean, you're talking about a 28-hour window to play three games, three walk-offs, win the way we did, and especially even the last one mm -hmm. where you're down to your last strike. You know, and, and, and you feel some of the air coming out of the balloon like, oh, we're going to let one get away. And then to keep coming back, you know, the way we did. And so many different guys. I think that was another piece of it. Um, Steven Rivera, you know, more days than not, he's our ninth place hitter, was right in the middle of two of them. Mason Hopkins, which I think half the people at the game were probably, who's this guy? You know, like was in the middle of one of them. So I think that makes it. So much, you know, better, fun. It's That's the reason you go out there, for the guys to surprise you, you know. Yeah, I mean, what what testament does that go to your team's toughness? And how, I guess, does that roll forward into kind of snowballing into this coming week with those big games? I think that's the hope. You hope it continues to build. You hope it continues. We've said this all year, um, you know, losing is poison, winning's Kool-Aid. You know, you start winning and, oh, this Kool-Aid's good, you know, and everybody wants to drink it, you know, and you start thinking, it's great, we're winning. And, you know, and, and I do feel like this team's played very well. Our record is is very good. Um, do I think we can play better? Yeah. Do I think we can be more consistent? For sure. You know, and you look at before this UCA series, we've been hanging around would be the word I've used. We haven't really gotten hot. Mm -hmm. We haven't played bad. We haven't really gotten hot. You know, we haven't turned – Every now and then, and we did this early in the year, you got to let one or two wins turn into six. You know, you got to, if you're going to be a really good club, um, and then the flip side is that, of that, you can't let one or two losses turn into six. Um, so maybe, maybe this weekend, to answer your question, maybe these three wins can, can turn into six, turn into seven, and then kind of propel you a little bit. That's what you're hoping. Yeah, especially with UIW coming up. I know they're a tough team, and I think we're sitting third right now, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and just going into that game, that's going to be probably a huge turning point. It's still an early season, but um, that might really set you know, the future of the league. I, I keep looking back at our series with UIW, mm. and you kind of scratch your head like, how do we go on the road when two out of three? Man, those guys are killing it. Mm. You know, they're kind of everybody's darling. They're the new thing right now, and everybody's looking at them. Like, Boy, they're really doing well for for a team that that, that hasn't been on – you know, the the side of being one of the top three or four teams in the league. And and um, so, yeah, now we have this weird Wednesday um, non-conference matchup with them. But it's a little bit of a rivalry game, mm -hmm. uh, you know, a club we just played a few weeks ago. And you want to keep this momentum that we have. And um, so it'll be interesting. It, you know, with it being on a Wednesday, we're going to throw some different guys. And, and that's kind of every every Division One team's in that boat right now where you – Different guys get some different shots in the midweeks, but um, but no, you're you're right. That game circled a little bit. It's a home game. You want to continue to play well. You want to keep this momentum. You want these guys to be feeling great going into Houston Baptist this weekend. So yeah, I'd love to to find a way to go out Wednesday and kind of keep this thing going. And and we say all that, got to get through Prairie View on Tuesday yeah. too. So it it'll, it'll be a fun week. I sent a message to the guys in the group today. Guys, we have ten games in the next thirteen <laughs> days. You know so. Last week was so odd for us to catch our breath. You don't usually get a chance to catch your breath. So here we go again, right back in the skillet.